I love to read books. Often one time is enough though, but that is not the case with the Bible. The Bible is God's word. My heavenly father is speaking to me, but I need help. See how thick that is? There's so much there. And I'm so grateful that Jesus said when he went back to heaven, he said to the disciples, I will go, but I will send the comforter. Now the comforter is the Holy Spirit and he lives in each believer who has accepted Jesus' gift of salvation and forgiveness. But God gives us something very special, the princesses. We have a wonderful, wonderful gift that helps us. And that's what I'd like to talk about today. This is the Everyday Princess. And I'm Leanne. Welcome. Now, before I tell you what this help is, I'd like to read a few responses from friends about how meaningful this has been for them. I can get my notes. So Nikki said, it changed the trajectory of my entire adult life as a woman, wife, and mother. Wow. Steph said, she learned how to cling to Christ when suffering, and she knows what she's talking about. Uli said, it showed her the first steps to buy the Bible and to Jesus. It laid a cornerstone for her faith. And Dogmar said, it helped her to read and understand God's word and that she knew she wasn't alone. Wow, what is this great help? This great help is a Titus II woman. Hmm. Now, what is that? Let's go to Titus 2, which is in the New Testament. And it's Paul talking to Titus and giving him instructions for helping to establish a new churches with new, new believers in it. And, and Paul says, Older women, likewise, are to be reverent in behavior and not slanderers or slaves to much wine. They are to teach what is good. Mm-hmm. And so train the young women to love their husbands and children, to be self-controlled, pure, working at home, kind and submissive to their own husbands, that the word of God may not be reviled. So these women need to live the truth, love the truth, and teach the truth to younger women in everyday life. Dogmar said, it is such a great comfort to know that she is not alone, with her concerns and her struggles, that she is surrounded by Titus II women. Nikki said she has learned from the Titus II women in her life how to cook thoughtful meals, listen to someone sharing from their heart, and I know that she has gone through extensive training as a counselor, and she has touched many lives, and she has helped many people. And Dogmar said, in her everyday life, she has learned how to study the Bible and how to love and serve others. And she has a very kind heart and, and is very thoughtful towards others. And she is a very bright lady who parents, parents well and parents thoughtfully with her husband. Steph said, she learned to be a Christian wife and mother. Her Titus II woman, Joy, modeled this for her as she lived life with her family. She watched her parent and resolve conflicts with her husband, a very courageous Titus II women, woman. And Uli said, very important uh, point here is, Uli's two Titus II women in her life uh, were friends of her moms. And that really gave me pause, that I am thankful for the, the friends I have in my life and how they influence my children. But she learned from one of her, her Titus II women uh, to be content with little. The most important thing was a firm faith and that the family is together. She also learned, and she's a very talented lady when it comes to handwork, uh, to do different handwork techniques and also cooking. She learned by watching, by watching one of her Titus II women cook. And Uli has influenced many younger women 
and is such a blessing. And, and I'm very glad that she is my friend. Now, I learned from Titus Two Women that it's okay to be brave and to take new steps and to use the gifts that God has given you. For example, me doing a YouTube channel, I never would have thought that this was possible. But I have good older women around me who are brave and try new things and are willing to take steps and to take risks. And so I did too. And something else that I have learned from Titus II women and younger women is that it's very important that we talk to our father together, that we can talk on the phone to friends or we can meet in a group or a, a small group or a large group and we can praise our father for how good he is and how loving he is and how mighty he is and we can thank him for his kindness to us and we can ask him for help and we can pray for people who are hurting or sick and we can lay this all at our father's feet. We are not alone. Our father is always with us and he loves to talk with us and he loves it when we talk with him. So younger women, who is the tightest two women or women in your lives? And older women, who are you investing in? This is a very special privilege that older women can invest in younger women to live out the truth and also to teach really practical things from Bible study to cooking to how to love and how to listen, how to step out and try new things, how to discover what your gifts are and to use them. So why is it important to have help and to learn and to grow? and to love and to serve and to try new things and to, to understand God's word and to know who Jesus is. Why are these important? Because we have a wonderful heavenly father who loves us. And if you have accepted Jesus' gift of salvation and his forgiveness, then you are a child of the King of Kings and our Father wants the family to grow because what we receive is, is priceless. And it's not just for now on this earth. It's also for the future because we are promised eternity with our Heavenly Father. So is it important that we learn and grow and love? Yes, to love each other. And then everybody can see what kind of Father we have and be curious and want to know more. And we can tell them how wonderful our Father is. Isn't that just an amazing opportunity? I'll be praying that you discover ways to invest in other younger women and also younger women that there will be older women to invest in you. That's all for today. I would love it if you would subscribe and hit the bell. And also, if you uh, were blessed by this, you can also like the video. And we'll see you again next week.